Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Start off with your 10 minute flow, going with our prone reach roll lift. Facing toward the ground, we're gonna go ahead, walk our fingertips forward. That's the reach. Roll the thumb up from here, back pocket, lift. Reach, roll, lift. Reach, roll, and then lift. As we finish on up, we're gonna stay down there and go for our prone scorpion. Arms all the way out, out the side, for the opposite side here, for that scorpion. So right side foot down the left side hand, left side foot over to right side hand. Supine up and over, we're gonna lay onto our back here. Straight leg up and across, up and across. As we finish up, single leg alternate glute bridge, walking our feet in, up to squeeze, brace against the rotation here. And then you're finishing up with broad jumps. Loading like our hinge, laying like a squat, turn around both ways. For our SFP work today, you need two dumbbells. You're gonna start off with a dumbbell Z press. That's eight reps as heavy as possible. That second minute, you're gonna be rolling with eight per side, dumbbell half kneeling chops. And then that third minute you're rolling with a dumbbell RDL as heavy as possible. So what we're looking at here, you're seated, nice and tall bicep to ear every single time. The Z press, the half kneeling chop, right side forward here, up and across with a straight elbow. Switch to the opposite side. And then grab both dumbbells high hip RDL, finding your hinge, load your hamstring. Your ESD today is called Deviled Legs, an eight minute AMRAP of four double press at 50s per side or 35s per side, or however heavy you'd like. We're into 12 box jump overs at 24 inches for the guys, 20 for the ladies. If we don't have that, obviously, we're then gonna go ahead, find some stairs, at which point you'll do your box jumps. Uh, it's Remember, it's uh, uh, always always key to remember, especially with the double press, that we need to make sure that our hip positioning is a locked down. That way, the lower back staying flat, the shoulder blades are also staying locked down. The other consideration for that, as well as that, is that it's one motion from the ground overhead. It's not a clean and jerk. So for our double press, starting off with our burpee, you're gonna go ahead, both hands under the dumbbells, jump those feet on up all the way to the hands, hike it all the way overhead, lock out the elbow. Bring it right back on down. I always like to think about bringing those dumbbells there in that hike, right to the hip, and then go overhead versus coming straight from the ground. It'll keep that dumbbell a lot closer to your hip. When we're doing our stair jumps or box jumps, make sure again that we're always loading through the hip. Uh, when we go to land, land nice and quiet. For your adaptation, you have your super stretch. The knees are gonna stay straight, nice big chest reaching down for those toes. The more that we could bring the hands down the foot or down the leg, the better. Thread the needle, knees on the ground, reaching through. And then we have our downward dog pedaling the feet to stretch out those calves. If you wanna stack the foot, you can. Shavasana, and then that's it. Nice job, guys.